Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to stay on the Pathfinder 2 random encounter this time and go right into the roll. Six, two, one. A moderate level encounter at least and in the wilderness. Forgot to set it to only one encounter to roll up, but it seems we rolled a giant tarantula. Oh no. I hope nobody has arachnophobia. <laughs> Looking at the tarantula stat block, it's a large creature with a sizable health pool of 135 HP. It's got some decent means of fighting, including a venom on a bite attack which requires a fortitude save and a hair barrage, a 15 foot cone of 4d6 piercing damage on a reflex save. The tarantula's biggest problem is its low will save. Fear effects and mental damage would be highly effective. I pulled an image in preparation for this video so you wouldn't have to stare at too many spiders. And I started a new token file due to the last one starting to lag from all the parts that reside in it. I wanted the tarantula's token to look like tree bark, something to make it feel like it was truly in its element. Though I've seen giant spiders in ruined towers as well. I actually found one of my favorite things to base a token off of, a 3D texture sphere. They usually have amazing lighting, details, and designs that are easy enough to expand upon with my own style if need be, like dripping lava or water. I wanted to give the spider the same effect the Dampier wizard had, which was to have some dimension, so I gave it a look of it crawling out of the token at the player characters. Once I finished cleaning up the token and setting a background black layer to hide all the white lines, I didn't want to just end the token there, especially with the spider's coloring being so bright on the bark. So I ended up doing two variants, the normal one and a frost version. I played around with the colors for a bit to figure out what method would look best. Sometimes the solid color multiplied over the base layer is more than enough. Other times I just want to play with filters or color scaling which can impact it in entirely different ways. I even tried a black and white version, where the red eyes would peer through and pop in comparison. Dark as night, all you see are the red orbs glaring at you. I ended up not making the black and white version because then I might just make a version of every single color and I figured that would get out of hand very quickly. But with the frost version completed using a variety of gradients on a hard light and edges cleaned up with a black inner glow, the giant tarantula is complete. Most of my characters in my roll 20 realm are only level 3 for now, but as a party of level 3s, a level 6 is a monumental challenge due to its AC and ability to crit often as anything 10 above the DC or AC is a crit in this system. Crits are more frequent in Pathfinder 2, but are still quite satisfying. Hope you guys like the style of this token. I'll be doing a D&D &D encounter next. I want to add more lore bits into some of these videos, but with the giant tarantula, there's only so much you could ever expand upon. See you in the next video.